We're here at the Rio Grande Farm Park in Alamosa on the last day of April 2016. It's a wet day, plenty of snow this week, and lots of folks out working by hand to spread some uh, high quality organic compost. And we're standing in front of a not new but a low hour tractor that the park has, and that tractor needs a home. So the shed we are looking to buy will be a 20 by 20, about 10 feet tall, that we'll be able to bring in at least one of the tractors, have some space when it rains at the park where we can work in the shed outside the rain, outside the elements. There will always be a push several times of the year when we really need equipment to work and be ready to start. Cold days, hot days, rainy days. Having some protection for the equipment is going to be important. This is going to be a place where we can raise food locally in a healthy way and sustain families for a long time. By introducing people of all ages to maybe a new business of raising vegetables commercially, uh, we think we'll be able to keep that knowledge and also help folks to uh, get a little economic benefit from uh, their labor as well. well. The Rio Grande Farm Park has a long-term plan that involves lots of activities for the community including children but this year we're going to focus on food production in addition to the commercial vegetable production which is brand new this year and continuing with family vegetable production which has expanded now to about 20 families uh, we've got a couple other projects going in the background is an orchard and it just started last year we plan to put a few more trees in this year Building on to the Farmer Incubator, we'll be having classes that the community will be allowed to participate in. Soil health, pest management, business plan, specifically for farming, seed saving, anything that the home gardener or even commercial farmer would want to know about growing in the area. Rio Grande Farm Park completed its master plan and we're really excited about that. This is a multi-year process. We're going to start by focusing on the farm and food production and uh, next up we'll be developing the recreational opportunities which are really exciting here. Beyond recreational op opportunities there is long-term planning for a build-out that will include event spaces, possibility of residential buildings for farmers. The farm park has a close relationship with our local food hub a few miles away and so that's another resource and asset that we have for our farmers to uh, store process, sell their produce out of. So that's a nice connection as well. Thanks for listening today. We can uh, use your help at the Rio Grande Farm Park. We welcome volunteers out here on the land and we can also use some support to help us build our tractor shed for implements and this uh, new tractor. And you can donate online to help us out. Thank you for supporting us and I hope to see you out at the park.